make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and then we make turkey and cheese sandwiches. This is your typical Friday afternoon for these students here at Joaquin Moraga Intermediate School. They give up their lunch period to prepare food for the homeless. To me, it's fine to give up my lunch to give somebody else a lunch. It makes us feel really good that we're doing this for a good cause and for people who don't have like as much as we do. Teacher Brett Laurie started the nonprofit 10,000 Lunches with a group of parents to teach kids how simple it is to give back. One of the things that I realized was kids want to help but don't always have an avenue to help. And so this is something very tangible that they can do. Beyond the peanut butter sandwich making table sits another table stacked with water bottles, granola bars, and other goodies packed away in brown paper bags. We throw some other stuff in the bag. Like this time of year, it's pretty cold, so we put in ham warmers and socks. Matt Batuni and other parents then deliver the lunch bags to homeless encampments in Oakland, Berkeley, and Emeryville. It's not just about us delivering food to the homeless. It's about connecting the kids to a need out there that in our community you don't see a lot. And here in the Bay Area, that need is huge. This could be one of their only meals of the day. A small gesture, Lori says, that's already creating powerful human connections. I think the food almost becomes secondary at that point. And so if our kids can start to recognize the power that they have to have that effect on people, then I think that has the potential to lead them in a good direction. Brett Laurie and the 10,000 Lunches program, making a difference. In Moraga, Carrie Hudasek, KCBS.